Hey makers, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to Power BI Goals step by step tutorial series. You are watching 5th episode of this series and in this episode I am going to talk about how we can integrate Power Automate with Power BI Goals. So stay tuned throughout this video. One more important announcement, if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. The Instagram and Twitter IDs are available here or maybe in the description box. So without further delay. Let's get started and discuss about Power Automate and Power BI Goals integration in detail with me. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened one manual goal scorecard. Now we want to achieve our functionality that we need to integrate our Power Automate flow with Power BI goals. I want to implement a functionality that whenever a goal status is being changed or if any value is being changed, I want to notify the end user. At that time, the flow integration will helpful to us over here. Now let's talk about which type of triggers are available for Power BI goals and which type of action we can add with the Power Automate. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to open your flow.microsoft.com and you need to click on new flow and simply go to automated cloud flow. That will create one fresh flow for you. Just simply click on skip and that will open the new flow window for you. So this is creating one fresh flow for you. Over here, the first part is you need to add Power BI as trigger. Simply search for Power BI and over here you can see the different trigger. Now for Power BI goals, we have couple of triggers like when a goal is changed, when the current value of the goal is changed, when someone adds or edit goal check-in, when someone assign a new owner to the goal and when status of goal is changed. So you can see at this moment we have different type of five triggers, right? So over here, let's say for an example, I want to change when the status is changed, I want to notify the user. So I'm just changing when status of a goal is changed. So let's use that. You can choose the trigger according to your requirement, but simply I'm using this one. I am selecting my workspace YT Analytics goal. Now from here we need to select our scorecard. So I am selecting YT Analytics because this is my scorecard. And now over here you need to select the goal ID like on which goal you want to trigger that thing. So let's say I am just adding at this moment as whenever achieve 50k in 2022. So whenever status of this thing is being changed I want to trigger my flow. And over here, you need to select polling interval in second. So minimum value for this is 300. So from last change value, what would be the interval to trigger this flow? So let me just set as 5 minutes, means 30 seconds. Now, let's say I just wanted to notify my end user. So I'm just writing here, Outlook, send an email action. So I'm just selecting send email and what I want to do here is I want to provide the two email address. So I'm just providing my email address over here as well as let's provide the subject. Goal subject is being changed. Let's provide that as a title. And now let me just add couple of values. So let me just provide hello the goal status has been changed from old status what was the old status let's see so over here you will get the old status and after that you will get the new status as well from old status to new status like what is the new status so let's provide that new status right and after that thanks so this is how we configure this email so let's save this 
and let's provide the name of the flow as well let me just rename my flow as goal status change for 50k right so let's save this stuff and now let's try to test this functionality so let me just go here now I am just changing the status over here so what I'm going to do here is I'm just clicking on edit and I'm just going to change this status so let me just change the status as on track and let me just click on save so let's see what will happen over here and here we are the flow ran successfully let me just open up and check the stuff so when a status of goal is being changed so new status is on track and uh, we are just showing an email that the glow the goal status has been changed from at risk to on track right so this is how simply it sends the notification to the user so this is how the power automate configuration with power bi goals is looking like also similar type of this you can create the other flow goals as well so let's say here i uh, already created a couple of things so let's say here in this particular uh, flow i have asked here that if this goal is changed at any point of time i want to notify the user and over here as well we are getting almost all the property like which are the uh, which is the old status which is the new status which is the old goal name which is the new goal name so everything i'm getting over here as a track part and that is something which i can send as a new part now let me talk about couple of goal action as well so let's say for an example whenever we are using power bi goal we talked about the trigger but how about the actions so let's say for an example i'm whenever i'm selecting power bi it is having the different action as well like when your goal is changed after that if you want to add any note to your check-in or you want to uh, create a check-in you want to create a goal create a scorecard all of these action you can achieve over here so trigger can be anything after that you can add and achieve many actions sometimes you can uh, have some another third party system as well integrated here so let's say for an example you have created some microsoft form and whenever in microsoft form new value is added you wanted to create new goal and you wanted to add new check-in you can also do all of those stuff with the help of power automate and now let me talk about some official documentation where they provided the information about all the triggers so triggers are something which i have already shown you like when a goal is changes when someone is add or edit the check-in and when the owner is assigned and when the tire refresh goes fail and these are the different uh, actions which i just shown you and here are the different actions like uh, get a goals get a goal check-in get multiple goals get scorecard then update check-in update goal and many more right so these are the action and trigger i already shown you right so this is how the power automate integration with power bi goal is looking like isn't that cool with this i covered everything about power automate integration with goals in the next episode i am going to talk about how we can add scorecard visual into power bi desktop so stay tuned to my next session and if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me you can follow me on my website on all my social media handles using this link and you can subscribe my another channel called digital thruvin and show your love over here as well with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye